The phonology of the Hungarian language is notable for its process of vowel harmony, the frequent occurrence of geminate consonants and the presence of otherwise uncommon palatal stops. Consonants This is the Hungarian consonantal system, using symbols from the International Phonetic Alphabet Carat asterisk It is debated whether the palatal consonant pair consists of stops or affricates. They are considered affricates by Thomas Zende, head of the Department of General Linguistics at PPKE, and stops by Maria Gossi, research professor, head of the Department of Phonetics at ELTE. The reason for the different analyses is that the relative duration of the friction of c, as compared to the duration of its closure, is longer than those of the stops, but shorter than those of the affricates. C has the stop-like nature of having a full duration no longer than those of other voiceless stops such as p, t, k, but, considering the average closure time in relation to the friction time of the consonants, its duration structure is somewhat closer to those of the affricates. Almost every consonant may be geminated, written by doubling a single letter grapheme, b b4, b, p p4, p, ss4, etc., or by doubling the first letter of a grapheme cluster, ssz4, s, nny4, etc. The phonemes d, z, and d can appear on the surface as geminates. Brids, brid, bridge. For the list of examples and exceptions, see Hungarian d z and d z s. Hungarian orthography, unlike that of the surrounding Slavic languages, does not use haki or any other consonant diacritics. Instead, the letters c, s, z are used alone. T, s, z, or combined in the digraphs c s, s z, z s, t, s. While Y is used only in the digraphs Thai, GY, Li, NY is a palatalization marker to write the sounds, C, C Sedilla, J, formerly. The most distinctive allophones are J becomes C if between a voiceless obstruent and a word boundary, e.g. LOPJ C, steel. J becomes e.g. between voiced obstruents, such as DOBJ B, DOB B, throw, one, sum, in H may become between two vowels, e.g. thak, ta t, so, c, after front vowels, e.g. illet, ike, inspiration, and x, word finally after back vowels, e.g. do, docs, musty, if it isn't deleted, which it often is, e.g. may, me, b, according to go c, it becomes x rather than c in words such as peck, illet, technica, bad luck, inspiration, technology, technique, while it becomes postvelar fricative in words such as do, sah, yacht, ala, eunuch, potro. H becomes X when geminated in certain words. Dohal docks L with blight. Peshes PX unlucky. Topic <laughs> vowels. Hungarian has seven pairs of corresponding short and long vowels. Their phonetic values do not exactly match up with each other. So E represents and E acute represents E. Likewise, A represents while a acute represents a. For the other pairs, the short vowels are slightly lower and more central, and the long vowels more peripheral. I, Y, U, are phonetically near close. E, has been variously described as close mid e and mid e. And the marginal, are phonetically near open a, ash, but they may be somewhat less open, in other dialects. O, is phonetically mid o stroke. A, uh, and the marginal, A, uh, are phonetically open central, A diaresis, A, uh, the sound marked by A uh, is considered to be, by Thomas Zende and, by Maria Gossi. Gossi also mentions a different short, A, uh, that contrasts with both, A, uh, and, present in a few words like svak, Switzerland, sva, schwa, advent, advent, hardiver, hardware, this usage is considered hyperforeign, and hello, used when answering the phone, contrasting with halo, dying, and halo, web. There are two more marginal sounds, namely the long, as well as the long. They are used in the name of the letters E and A, which are pronounced, and, respectively, although not found in Budapest, some dialects contrast three mid-vowels, E, written E diaresis in some works, but not in the standard orthography, and, E. Thus mentic could represent four different words, mentic, mentic you all go, mentic mentke, they went, mentic mentek, I save, and mentic mentke, they are exempt. In Budapest, the first three collapse to K, while the latter one is unknown, having a different form in the literary language Mentasek. Topic: 
Vowel harmony As in Finnish, Turkish, and Mongolian, vowel harmony plays an important part in determining the distribution of vowels in a word. Hungarian vowel harmony classifies the vowels according to front versus back assonance and rounded versus unrounded for the front vowels. Excluding recent loanwords, Hungarian words have either only back vowels or front vowels due to these vowel harmony rules. While i, i, and e are all front unrounded vowels, they are considered to be neutral vowels. In Hungarian vowel harmony. Therefore, if a word contains back vowels, neutral vowels may appear alongside them. However, if only neutral vowels appear in a stem, the stem is treated as though it is a front vowel assonance and all suffixes must contain front vowels. Vowel harmony in Hungarian is most notable when observing suffixation. Vowel harmony must be maintained throughout the entire word, meaning that most suffixes have variants. For example, the dative case marker nk versus nk. Stems that contain back vowels affix back vowel suffixes, and stems that contain only front vowels affix front vowel suffixes. However, the front vowel stems distinguish rounded versus unroundedness based on the last vowel in the stem. If the last vowel is front and rounded, it takes a suffix with a front rounded vowel, otherwise it follows the standard rules. While suffixes for most words have front, back vowel variants, there are not many that have rounded, unrounded variants, indicating that this is a rarer occurrence. One is able to observe the distinction when looking at the plural affix, either ok back, k front unrounded, or ok front rounded. As can be seen above, the neutral vowels are able to be in both front and back vowel assonance words with no consequence. However, there are about 50 monosyllabic roots that only contain i, i, or e that all take a back vowel suffix instead of the front vowel suffix. These exceptions to the rule are hypothesized to have originated from the roots originally having contained a phoneme no longer present in modern Hungarian, the unrounded back vowel, or its long counterpart. It is theorized that while these vowels merged with i, or i, less commonly e, or u, the vowel harmony rules sensitive to the backness of the original sound remained in place. The theory finds support from etymology. Related words in other languages generally have back vowels, often specifically unrounded back vowels. For example, nile arrow, plural nile ak corresponds to komi nil, nl, southern mansi, nl. Assimilation The overall characteristics of the consonant assimilation in Hungarian are the following Assimilation types are typically regressive, that is the last element of the cluster determines the change. In most cases, it works across word boundaries if the sequence of words form an accentual unity, that is there is no phonetic break between them and they bear a common phase stress. Typical accentual units are Attributes and qualified nouns, e.g. hadeg tel cold winter. Adverbs and qualified attributes, e.g. najan karos no ka ro, tilde non ka ro, very harmful. Verbs and their complements, e.g. nagiat dob nod dob s, he throws long toss, vesz belal vs blo stroke l take some of it. There are obligatory, optional and stigmatized types of assimilation. The palatal affricates behave like stops in assimilation processes. Therefore, in this section, they will be treated as stops, including their IPA notations, and C. Topic. Voice assimilation In a cluster of consonants ending in an obstruent, all obstruents change their voicing according to the last one of the sequence. The affected obstruents are the following. In obstruent clusters, retrograde voicing assimilation occurs, even across word boundaries. 3. V. is unusual in that it undergoes assimilation but does not cause voicing, e.g. hatvan 60 is pronounced htvn, not asterisk htvn. Voicing before v occurs only in southwestern dialects, though it is stigmatized. Similarly, h causes devoicing, but never undergoes voicing in consonant clusters. E.g. doble l from the musty smell. Other than a few foreign words, morpheme initial, d, z, doesn't occur even its phonemic state is highly debated, therefore it is hard to find a real example when it induces voicing even alopjajiki is forced and not used colloquially. However, the regressive voice assimilation before, d, z, does occur even in nonsense sound sequences. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Nasal place assimilation. Nasals assimilate to the place of articulation of the following consonant even across word boundaries. Only precedes a velar consonant e.g. hang h voice. Precedes a labiodental consonant e.g. hamvad havard, smolder and m precedes bilabial consonants. M before labial consonants pbm shinpad c mpd stage kulinbi kylam better than nmagam emm myself before labiodental consonants fv kulinfella kylof l various hamvis bloomy before palatal consonants c c sedilla pindi pick finch angie a wife of a close male relative maganiomozo ma omozo private detective before velar consonants k Munka muck work angle ol English nasal place assimilation is obligatory within the word but optional across a word or compound boundary e.g. seenpor say mpor tilde say npor coal dust nagin karos no karo tilde non karo very harmful olian mas ojam ma tilde ojin ma so different topic sibilant assimilation Voiceless sibilants form a voiceless geminate affricate with preceding alveolar and palatal stops d, d, g, y, t, 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 c. Clusters ending in s, z, s, or c, t, s, give t, s, metzit, mt, s, t, engraving, segment, odature, odo, s, or for the fifth time, negazer, na, t, s, r, four times, fudizo, f, y, t, s, o, whistle, as a signal, atsipal, a t, s, ipal, s, he lugs, something, over, nadcucor, na, t, s, u, k, o, r, cane sugar. Clusters ending in s, or c, s, t, give t, Kitsag, K T E, doubt, Faradsag, F A art, saw, trouble, Agizag, T E, unity, Hejik sucks, H T U T, mountain top. Two sibilant fricatives form a geminate sibilant fricative. The assimilation is regressive as usual. S Z S or Z Z plus S gives Egesag E E, health, Kozag K O stroke E, village, community. S Z S or Z Z plus Z S Gives Vidasik Mani Vida a KMA Hunter's Game Zara's Jomal Sa R Omal Dry Bread Roll S or Z S plus S Z S gives S Kiss Zaru Kiss Rai Petty Rose Shalma Rose L M Rai Straw S or Z S plus Z Z gives Z Tilos Zona Tilos Zo N Restricted Zone Parish Zine Pra Z Zian Hot Music Clusters Z S plus S, S plus Z S, Z plus S Z S and S Z plus Z Z are rather the subject of the voice assimilation. If one of the two adjacent sibilants is an affricate, the first one changes its place of articulation, e.g. Malaksag, Mlt, the Halash Charda, Halati, A Road, Hungarian Fish Restaurant. Sibilant affricate fricative sequences like T are pronounced the same as geminate affricate T during normal speech. Sibilant assimilation can be omitted in articulated speech, e.g. to avoid homophony, Rose Shalma Rose LM, tilde, Roslam, Rye Straw does not equal Ross Shalma Rose SLM, Straw of bad quality, and Ross Alma Ros LM, Apple of bad quality, as well. NB. Letter cluster SZS can be read either as SZ plus S, e.g. EGESSAG e -E, health, or as S plus ZS, e.g. LISTIC, LISTA K, bolting bag, depending on the actual morpheme boundary. Similarly ZSZ is either ZS plus Z, Z e.g. Verisher Bra Zia R Magic Lock, or Z plus SZ S, e.g. Hazzam Ha Southa M Street Number, and CSZ, CS plus Z D, Z tilde C plus SZ T, S, S. Moreover, single digraphs may prove to be two adjacent letters on morpheme boundary, like CS, CS T, tilde C plus S T, S Z S Z S tilde S plus Z Z Z S Z S tilde Z plus S. Topic: Palatal assimilation. Combination of a palatalizable consonant and a following palatal consonant results in a palatal geminate. Palatalizable consonants are palatal ones and their non-palatal counterparts G Y. Tilde D, D, L, L, Tilde Li, J, N, N, Tilde N, Y, Ti, C, Tilde T, T. 
Full palatal assimilation occurs when the ending palatal consonant is j, j, nagia n, most of it, aja s, he gives it, tolja t o j s, he pushes it, unja u s, he is bored with it, hania ha s, he throws it, latya la c s, he sees it, ataya c, his, her father. The cluster lyj j is a simple orthographic variant of jj j, folijan f o j on let it flow. Partial assimilation takes place if an alveolar stop d, t, is followed by a palatal gy, ty, c, hadgacorlet, h -corlet army exercises, nemzitules, nms y la national assembly, vatuk vc uk, wild chicken, hattuk hsc uk, six hens. Some sources report that alveolar stops change into their palatal counterparts before ny, ludniak, lu k, neck of a goose, at nulik, a ku lik, it extends over. The majority of the sources don't mention this kind of assimilation. When the first consonant is nasal, the partial palatal assimilation is a form of the nasal place assimilation see above. The full palatal assimilation is an obligatory feature in the standard Hungarian, its omission is stigmatized and it is considered as a hypercorrection of an undereducated person. Partial palatal assimilation is optional in articulated speech. Topic. Degemination Long consonants become short when preceded or followed by another consonant, e.g. foltal by, with, a patch, verdum, verdum I sowed. Intercluster elision The middle alveolar stops may be omitted in clusters with more than two consonants, depending on speed and articulation of speech, azt hism, s hism, tilde, saint hism, I presume, guess, mind mia jan, mia jane, one and all, colonze, kylom, tilde, kylom, difference. In morpheme onsets like str, ter, middle stops tends to be more stable in educated speech, phalangstrataja, flanterte i, tilde, efeloctrut i, tilde, efeloctrut i, strategy based on phalanxes. Topic. Elision of L L assimilates to a following R, e.g., balra, bur, to the left. L also tends to be omitted between a preceding vowel and an adjacent stop or affricate rapid speech, causing the lengthening of the vowel or diphthongization, e.g., volt, vo t, was, polgar, po r, citizen. This is considered non standard. Topic. Hiatus Standard Hungarian prefers hiatus between adjacent vowels. However some optional dissolving features can be observed. An optional weak glide j, may be pronounced within a word or a compound element between two adjacent vowels if one of them is i, i e.g. fiai, fiai tilde fij, j, ij, ej, i the ones of his, her sons. This, however, is rarely transcribed. Adjacent identical short vowels other than a and e may be pronounced as the corresponding long vowel, e.g. zoologia zo -olo -i, tilde zo -lo -i, zoology. Two adjacent as are always pronounced as single short I in the word endings, e.g. Hawaii v. This reduction is reflected in the current orthography when the adjective forming suffix i is added to a noun ending in i. In this case suffix i is omitted also in writing. E.g. lenti, a place name, plus i lenti of lenti. Topic: <laughs> Stress. The stress is on the first syllable of the word. The articles a, as, e.g. y, and the particle as are usually unstressed. 